Okay, now this is a view from Google Maps, which I was able to, after some quite a bit of work, um, illustrate the path that I've been talking about. This green path is the alternate path, and this is the yellow path here is the um, the standard path that people take. And like I said, down here, um, they have to climb up this really rocky, steep hill. This goes up to about 32, 3300 feet at the max. Then they have to descend down this very long, narrow, rocky and uh, uh, canyon. And then this final descent down onto the um, Goat Canyon is, is really um, advanced, dangerous, um, deadly dangerous. So I'm not going to do it. Um, so I've been looking for an alternate, and I thought about going down these various... Um, um, this wash down to this canyon but it's just too many too much vegetation there and it's too long it's just too many miles so what I found was this path if I, you were to take a um, off-road vehicle to Dos Cabezos exit here or crossing right here and then go up this Job, um, Jojoba Canyon um, let me zoom in a little bit so if you go down the Jojoba Canyon and then just go up this wash a bit, uh, then you end up on this very, uh, it only goes up to 2,200 feet. Now looks are deceiving. This is a, an ascent. This goes uphill a little bit. and um, but, but it's not too bad. You know, you're making a lot of progress very quickly. And then uh, now here, this part's a little bit questionable. It is a bit steep right here, but there's rocks. So you might be able to just use some rope and just kind of use that as a way to get down it. Um, so it might be the best way to go. And it seems like there already is a path for you to take once you get down here. And this is the first tunnel. It goes from here to here. And this is a path that circumvents the tunnel. Uh, and then um, you kind of go along the trail train here. There might be some path or something you can go, go to. But And then... Um, there's the second tunnel and final one before you get to the trestle. The, uh, so this is the toy trestle. You'll be able to see this from here, this view here. And then you just go along and you go around this hill. It'll go around this way. And that will get you over to um, the Goat Canyon trestle. So it's a bit up and downhill a little bit, but it's not impossible, I don't think. Um, it might be difficult to go around this part right here and this part right here, um, but not impossible. Um, it'd be a little bit of work, but it's going to be really cool when you get to here. Um, now, this is the track. Um, the blue part right here is the track, and the track goes up and curves around. They used to just take a mountain bike, and you can actually take a car up to uh, right here. Actually, I think the best spot is right here they park the car around here and they would just to get on in a mountain bike or walk down the tracks and uh, they could walk all the way down this way uh, but you can't do that anymore you get in trouble doing that um, and this is kinda iffy too you know it's along the tracks so you know you might have to um, you know at least it's not going through the tunnels it's not you know it's not taking too much of the track so um, I think this is okay so um, it's uh, I'm pretty excited about this. It's only a two mile hike. It look, may look like miles and miles, but it's only about two or three miles um, doing this. So both ways you're talking six miles maybe. So that's pretty nice. Um, and let me just z zoom in on the goal here, which is the Goat Canyon trestle right here, which is the world's largest curved wooden trestle. And there's a lot of other interesting things like railroad cars. So it's going to be a really memorable um, trip. And there's a lot of other interesting things along the way too. Uh, rock formations and Indian things and a lot of interesting things um, to go to. All right.